Welcome to Channel 17, the Town of Colony Government Channel. Hi, I'm Mrs. Grownie and I'm your storyteller for today. And I have a friendly wave. Do you guys have a friendly wave too? And let's sing our song to go along with the wave. Ready? Hello everybody and how are you? How are you? How are you? Hello everybody and how are you? Yes, indeed, my darling. And if you want to see the pictures, what are we going to use? Eyes. eyes. That's right. Hello to my eyes, and how are you? How are you? How are you? Hello to my eyes, and how are you? Yes, indeed, my darling. Then if we want to hear the stories, what are we going to use? Our ears. Our ears, right. Hello to my ears, and how are you? How are you? How are you? Hello to my ears, and how are you? Yes, indeed, my darling. And now my favorite part. We're going to warm up our lips. Ready? Hello Yes, indeed, my darling. Good job, everybody. Well, the snow is all melted in my yard. Is the snow all melted in yours? Yeah, and this, it's raining, and so that is getting the ground ready for things to grow. And one of the first things that's going to grow is this plant. Does anybody know what it is? Flower plant. And we call it a daffodil. In fact, you're going to, I'm going to pick a daffodil. Oh, I just picked that one. And you're going to make a daffodil to take home today, too. Well, the daffodils are the first thing to come up, but a lot more will be coming after the daffodils. And that's what we're going to be talking about today, growing things. And my first story is about Mrs. McNosh and the great big squash. Let's see what Mrs. McNosh does with that great big squash. The first day of spring, M Mrs. Nellie McNosh went to her garden and planted a squash. She pushed the seed in with the tip of her toe. And the minute she did, it started to grow. That's almost like magic. At first it was round and as big as a head. In fact, it looked just like Paper Boy Fred. They do kind of look alike, don't they? Then it turned yellow and bumpy and fat. It rolled from the garden and flattened the cat. It's a dangerous squash, isn't it? It knocked over trash cans and ran over toes. It twisted the sprinkler and plugged up the hose. It crashed through the clothesline and smashed through the fence, scaring the pants off two elderly gents. <laughs> Poor Nellie was worried. She said, oh my gosh, there's got to be some way to slow down this squash. She slapped it and scolded it and pitched it and kicked it. And then she took hold of the stem and she picked it. Now what do I do, wondered Mrs. McNosh. I've got to find something to do with this squash. There isn't a place in the world it will fit. 
It's big as a house. Wait, said Nellie. That's it. And so by the light of the big yellow moon, she scooped and she scraped with a long-handled spoon. And when the sun rose, where was Mrs. McNosh? Curled up sound asleep. In her big yellow squash. <laughs> so she made the squash into her home. That's pretty cool, wasn't it? Well, things do grow out there. I said daffodils grow out there. Squash grows out there. And I have a story now about an old man who planted a turnip. There was an old man who was so old that as he walked, his back went creak, crack, creak, crack, creak, crack. Well, he loved turnips, and so he planted. Oh. And before long, some green leaves poked up from the hole. And they grew, and they grew, and they grew, until that old man knew it was time for him to pick his turnip. He leaned over, and he pulled. Ooh! And he pulled. Ooh! And he pulled. Ooh! But that per turnip did not come out. Now I'm going to teach you your part. This is what you're going to say. Fee, fi, fo, fout. The turnip won't come out. All right, let's all say it. Fee, fi, fo, fum. Fout. The turnip won't come out. Well, along came a little old lady. And she said, what are you doing? Well, I'm trying to pick my turnip, but it won't come out. Well, let me help you. So she grabbed a hold of the little old man, and the little old man grabbed a hold of the turnip, and they pulled, ooh, and they pulled, ooh, and they pulled, ooh. But the turnip would not come out. And... Along came a little girl, and she said, what you doing? And the little old lady said, ready? Fee, fi, fo, fout. The turnip won't come out. Well, let me help. So she grabbed a hold of the little old lady, and the little old lady grabbed a hold of the little old man, and they pulled, ooh, mm. and they pulled, ooh, mm. and they pulled, ooh, mm. but the turnip wouldn't come out. Well, a came, ruff, 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 a dog. And he said, what you doing? And the little girl said, ready? Fee, fi, fo, fout, the turnip won't come out. And he said, well, let me help. So the dog grabbed onto the little girl. The little girl grabbed onto the little old lady. The little old lady grabbed onto the little old man. And they pulled. Mm. And they pulled. Mm. And they pulled. Mm. But the turnip wouldn't come out. Well, along wandered a What you doing, the kitty cat meowed. And the dog said, Fee, fi, fo, fout. The turnip won't come out. Well, let me help, said the cat. So the cat grabbed the dog. The dog grabbed the little girl. The little girl grabbed the little old lady. The little old lady grabbed the little old man. The little old man grabbed the turnip. And they pulled. Ooh. Mm. And they pulled. Ooh. Mm. And they pulled. Ooh. Mm. 
but the turnip wouldn't come out. Well, along came a squeak, 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 squeak. That's right, a mouse. And the mouse said, what you doing? And the cat said, ready? Fee, fi, fo, fow. The turnip won't come out. Well, let me help. Ha, 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 ha. Ha, 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 ha. Hee, hee, hee. Ha, 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 ha. <laughs> they all laughed at the mouse. And the mouse said, hey, let's try it together. So the mouse grabbed the cat, and the cat grabbed the dog, and the dog grabbed the little girl, and the little girl grabbed the old lady, and the old lady grabbed the man, and the man grabbed the turnip, and they pull, uh, and they pull, uh, and they pull, uh, and the turnip came out. Well, what do you think we ought to do turn up like that? Eat it? I bet that's just what they did. They ate that turn up. Who should wander into the garden but uh, a billy goat? And there's a problem when a billy goat enters the garden. What's the problem? You are right. He eats everything. He, he'll even eat the gate. He loves to eat in the garden. There he is. Well, there is a problem with him in the garden. And there are some animals that try to help get him out. And I'm going to have you guys be the animals. If, you don't, if you're not going to be an animal, then I have another job for you. You're going to be saying words, and I'll teach you those words in a minute. Now, this is what you're going to say. Let's all practice it. Ready? The, uh, I will be saying, but that huffy, gruffy old billy goat, and you're going to say, not come out. Everybody, let's practice that together. Will not come out. When I say the billy goat word, then you're going to say, will not come out. That's going to be your job. There's a billy goat in the garden. There he is. There's a billy goat in the garden. And he will not come out. He'll chase that. I'll chase that goat, said the rooster. Where's the rooster? Here you go. Talk to here. Put your hand right in here. All the mommies help the kids to know how to put the puppet on their hands. There you go. Put it right in here. There you go. You got to put your whole hand right to the head. Now, your rooster, rooster, you're looking at the billy goat. Turn around and look at the billy goat. I'll chase away that goat, says the rooster, and he flutters all about. Flutter, flutter, flutter. But that huffy, gruffy old billy goat, ready, will not come out. All right. There's a billy goat in the garden. You can walk back down to your, to your. And he will not come out. Well, I'm scarier, said the dogs and cats. Where are all my dogs and cats? And you better start barking. Dogs and cats, what are you doing? Woof, woof, woof. Right at the billy goat. Woof, woof, woof. Meow, meow. There we go. We have the cat. And they bark. Woof, 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 woof. And meow. Meow, meow, meow. You coming up, cat? But that haughty, naughty Billy will not come out. All right, good job. You guys can go sit down. There's a Billy goat in the garden, and, and he will not come out. Wine well, bigger, grunts the pig. Come on, pig. He snorts. And snorts all about, but that fighting, biting billy goat, yeah. 
will not come out. Good job. There's a billy goat in the garden and he will not come out. I'm bigger. Hee-haw, 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 says the donkey. Hee-haw, hee-haw. Come on up and hee-haw right at him. And he clips and claps all about, but that dancing, prancing billy goat will not come out. Good job, donkey. There's a billy goat in the garden, and he will not come out. I'm bigger. Moo's the cow. Moo. Here comes that cow. He's moo. Right at him. Moo. She bustles all about, but that surly, burly billy goat will not come. Oh. There's a billy goat in the garden and he will not come out. Well, I'm bigger. Nee's the horse. Nay. Keep cutting, keep neighing, horsey. And he gallops all about, but that stomping, tromping billy goat will not come out. Good job, horsey. There's a billy goat in the garden and he will not come out. Watch me, says the tiny bee. Can we get it on his hand? Okay, who, want, who would like to be a bee? Okay, we got a bee up here. Come here, throw the bee up. There we go. There we go. Mommy's going to help you get it on. And the bee's a buzzing. Do you think that bee's going to be able to do that? He buzzes all about. But all... Buzz, buzz, buzz. And all the animals says, you are just so tiny. And they snicker and snort and shout, you silly, illy, itty, bitty, be can't chase that goat out. Okay, start your bite again. Well, that bee buzz is all about, and that smashing, crashing billy goat does come out. Turn around and give a bow, B. You did it. <laughs> Yay. Very good. We're all going to stand up now because we're going to be a farmer and plant some seeds. Everybody Are stand up and we're going to be a farmer planting the seeds. Ready? The farmer plants the seeds. The farmer plants the seeds. Hi ho the dairy o oh, the farmer plants the seeds the sun comes out to shine the sun comes out to shine hi ho the dairy o oh, the sun comes out to shine the rain begins to fall the rain begins to fall Hi ho the dairy o oh, the rain begins to fall the seeds begin to grow the seeds begin to grow Hi ho the dairy o oh, the seeds begin to grow You know what kind of seeds we are we're wheat. We got to cut it, cut ourselves down now. The farmer cuts them down. The farmer cuts them down. Hi ho the dairy o oh, the farmer cuts them down. Now we have to bind ourselves together so everybody has to come up and be real close to Mrs. Growney. The, he binds them into she's. He binds them into she's. Hi ho the dairy o oh, he binds them into sheaves and you know what we're going to make now if we're all bound up and now what we're going to make ourselves into a loaf of bread are ready and now we'll have some bread cut the bread and now we'll have some bread nom, nom, nom. and hi ho the dairy o oh, and now we'll have some bread cut your bread up and take a bite 
Yummy. Very good. Good job. Maybe my dirt and worms was a surprise to you, but Flora really does have a surprise. And this is Flora. And let's find out what Flora's surprise is. Her whole family has decided to plant things. And Laura, Flora plants something a little different. Flora's family loved their garden. Nora planted a huge amaryllis. Cora planted 20 pink tulips. Be careful, Flora, said her sisters. Sam planted lettuce. Tom planted sunflowers. And Max sprinkled alfalfa seeds on a wet towel. Don't touch, Flora, said her brothers. Why don't you grow something, said Flora's dad. Some pretty flowers, said Flora's mom. Flora planted a small brick. <laughs> I'm growing a house, said Flora. Do you think a house will grow from the brick? Some of you think no. Your brick won't grow as quickly as my alfalfa sprout, said Max. Or as well as my lettuce, said Sam. Or as tall as my sunflower, said Tom. It's not a brick, it's a house, said Flora. Up sprang Cora's tulips and Nora's amaryllis, grew and grew and grew. How's your brick, Flora, asked Nora and Cora. It's not a brick, it's a house, muttered Flora. Every night for a week they ate Sam's lettuce with a garnish of Max's sprouts. How's your brick, Flora, asked Tom. It's not a brick. It's a house, sniffed Flora. Nora's amaryllis burst open and Cora's tulips were beautiful. Flora poked at her house, hopefully. <laughs> Flora put her house outside beside Tom's spectacular sunflowers, but still nothing happened. I think your brick is dead, said Sam. It's not a brick, wailed Flora. It's a house. Winter came and snow fell. Nothing grew inside or out. Then one day, spring came back and Flora's family emerged from their burrow. Look, yelled Flora, my house. For Fla Flora's brick had grown into a perfect house. And who lives in Flora's house? A birdie does. And that made a great house for that bird, didn't it? So I guess Flora is a pretty good gardener, too. Well, we're going to read, uh, we're going to sing a song, and it's on the back. It's called Today is Monday. And uh, we're going to see something that grows in a garden, and we're going to sing about it. So you listen for it. And you guys can all sing this because we just keep repeating. And the name of this song is Today is Monday. Today is Monday. Today is Monday. Monday wash day. Everybody happy? Well, I should say today is Tuesday. Today is Tuesday. Tuesday string beans. Monday wash day. Everybody happy? Well, I should say today is Wednesday. Today is Wednesday. Wednesday soup. Tuesday string beans. Monday wash day. Everybody happy? Well, I should say today is Thursday. Today is Thursday. Thursday roast beef. Wednesday soup, Tuesday string beans, Monday wash day, everybody happy? Well, I should say today is Friday, today is Friday, Friday fish, Thursday roast beef, Wednesday soup. Tuesday string beans, Monday wash day, 
Everybody happy? Well, I should say today is Saturday. Today is Saturday. Saturday payday, Friday fish, Thursday roast beef, Wednesday soup, Tuesday string beans, Monday wash day. Everybody happy? Well, I should say today is Sunday. Today is Sunday. Sunday play day, Saturday payday, Friday fish, Thursday roast beef, Wednesday soup, Tuesday string beans, Monday wash day. Everybody happy? Well, I should say. Does anybody remember what day we had a garden vegetable? Anybody remember? What, what was the vegetable? Tuesday. Tuesday, that's right. Tuesday it was string beans. And we grow those in our garden, don't we? We have a little story. And you listen, and then you'll be. We'll do it again, and you can you can uh, say it with me. What do you suppose a bee sat on my nose? And what do you think he gave me a great big wink? He said, "I beg your pardon. I thought you were a garden." You think it's because my, my jacket has so many colors? He thought I was a garden. All right, everybody, you want to say it with me now. Ready? What do you suppose a bee sat on my nose? And what do you think? He gave a great big wink. Everybody wink. And said, I beg your pardon. I thought you were a garden. No, I'm not a garden bee. So then he flew away. He flew away to his... Do you want to see what he flew away to? He flew away to his... <gasps> Beehive. And there's some bees there. Maybe one of these is our bee that thought I was a bee a flower garden. Hmm. How many are there? Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five. Show me five. Five little bees buzzing through a hive. One snuck some honey and took a deep dive. How many are left? Four little bees buzzing through the door. One slipped and crashed on the floor. How many are left? Three buzzing bees buzzing through a tree. One bunked the bark and bloodied his knees. How many are left? Two little bees buzzing through a shoe. One held his nose and said, pee-ew. How many bees are left? One little bee Buzzing through a bun, the swatter goes splat, and now there are none. There are none. Zero. That's right. Zero. Well, I have a garden, and here is my garden. Isn't it lovely? I've got, what do you think this is growing? Carrots. And what's this? Maybe lettuce or cabbage. And what's this? Yeah. And what's that? An eggplant, maybe. Or maybe that turnip, that enormous turnip that the, the farmer grew. 
Well, there's something in my garden. Now, what can it be? There's something in my garden. Hmm, I really can't see. I hear its funny sound. Ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. What do you think it is? A frog. A frog, a frog I found was making that sound. Ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. There's something in my garden. Now, what can it be? There's something in my garden and I really can't see. Hear its funny sound. Thump, 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 thump. What would make that thumping sound? Thump, thump, thump. A rabbit's in my garden. I found a rabbit in my garden. Thump, thump, thump. There's something in my garden. Uh, what can it be? There's something in my garden and I really can't see. I hear a funny sound going. Squeak, squeak, squeak. A mouse is in my garden. I just found a mouse. There's something in my garden. Now, what can it be? There's something in my garden, and I really can't see. Here, I hear its funny sound going. Caw, caw, caw. A, a, a bird, a crow is in my garden. That is what I found. Caw, caw, caw. Now, which one of these things would I want in my garden? Would I want the crow in my garden? No. No, he might peck at my plants. You need to fly away, crow. Do I want the mouse in my garden? No. No, he will eat my, nibble at my, my, ve my vegetables too. Would I want the rabbit in my garden? No. He'll eat my carrots. We have to pop him out. Do I want my, a frog in my garden? Yeah. What will he eat in my garden and, and, and keep my leaves of all my vegetables and my flowers safe? All the bugs! All the bugs! He's going to eat all the bugs, so I'm going to leave him in my garden. Very good. All right, everybody, I'm going to plant you. So everybody stand up, and I'm going to plant you. I'm going to plant you because you're going to be a seed in my garden. Stay right where you are, and I'm going to come. And when I plant you, you have to go down. All right, you have to go down. You have to squat down when I plant you. Squat down. Don't squat down till I plant you. She's still eating. I have to plant her while she's eating dirt. That'll be good. Just squat down. There we go. I'm planting you. Squat down. Don't. Here we go. I'm planting you. I'm planting you. I'm planting you. I'm planting you. I have to go over here and plant her. There you go. I planted you. I'm going to plant you. Oh, I have a lot of seeds in my garden. I wonder what kind of seeds I planted. Hmm. Now, I, I'm I've planted you, but as you grow, this is what you're going to say. You're going to come up and you're going to say, yes, I will, when you sprout. When I ask you if you're going to sprout, you'll come up. I'm going to do it the first time with you, all right? I have, to, I have to move you back just a little bit so I can sprout too. Okay, are you ready? Are you guys ready? And, and mommy's in... And mommies can do it along with me. It's on the back. This is called the little seed in the ground. Little seed in the ground, sitting so still. Little seed, will you sprout? Yes, I will. Okay, everybody, plant yourself again. Li uh, here we go. Little seed in the ground, sitting so still. Little seed, will you sprout? Yes, I will. All right, now I'm going to ask you what you are. What kind of what kind of sprout are you? She's a flower. What are you? I'm a flower. Another flower. A tulip. What are you? What are you? 
A tulip. What are you? A carrot. A carrot. Ooh, what are you? A rabbit. Oh, we've got a rabbit in the garden. This is disastrous. What are you? Oh, a broccoli seed. Excellent. What are you? Oh, lovely. And what are you? What do you? Leaf? He's a leaf. All right. What are you? A shamrock. Ooh, we're going to have a lucky day. What are you? Oh, we've got another rabbit. Oh, no. What are you? Oh, I love strawberries. I'm coming to your garden. What are you? Oh, that I'm coming to your, your garden for sure. What are you? Another strawberry. Did, what are you, dear? Oh, we're getting some strawberries. What are you? Oh, my goodness. All right, now everybody sit down, and I'm going to show you some sprouts that Mrs. Growney grew. And I put them in the jar, and then I had to let them soak in water, and then I dumped all the water off, and my sprouts started to grow. These sprouts are about three days old, and tomorrow night I'm actually going to take them out and we're going to eat them. But maybe I'll start some more again so next Tuesday you guys can eat some sprouts. Okay? We're going to put away our picture books and then we're going to pick, we're all going to make a, a, a daffodil to take home. And I'll, but we'll do our put away our picture book and then I will tell everybody how to make them. So everybody get out your picture book. Ready? Put away your picture book. Put away your ball happy times go quickly by for people big and small goodbye to you goodbye to you goodbye to all